All right, guys, I am going to show you around Meet Edgar. I'm going to show you the steps it takes to schedule your content at Meet Edgar and how to get further help with uh, Meet Edgar. Okay, so um, by now you have probably signed up. If you haven't, go to profitablecourses.com slash tools click on meet Edgar and you're gonna be able to get, they run different promotions. Um, this link might get you $10 off, but I think they're actually doing a free trial now as well. So if you click on this, yeah, it'll say start your free trial, which is awesome. And then you can start your seven day free trial there. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go to, to show you how, or, I want to show you around Meet Edgar first. I kind of want to show you what's all in it so you can get a sense of what's in it before we go step by step. So the first thing you're going to do is log in. So log in. All right. So here's what it's going to look like when you log in. So first you have you know, it'll say your name you have like settings, help center, they have an affiliate program, Edgar university, all this cool stuff. Um, it show, can show you the history of all the posts that you've made. And the cool thing is it shows you how many times it's been sent, how many times it's been clicked on. Like some of these have zero because there's no links um, associated with them, but you, it actually tracks all of your data and analytics on your posts. And it actually has separate reports here as well. And the email you reports, which is really handy. Uh, I love the, I actually love the weekly email reports. Um, this is where you would go to actually add and set up your accounts. So if you want me Edgar to post in your Facebook group or page, you would add that by clicking here. Um, you can set up Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, and then this is your different content categories. So I told you guys to start with five and I'll go through the steps. Um, I actually don't even know what import does. Cool. I think this might be new. I've never actually used import. Uh, schedule is where you're actually going to have your schedule. The cool thing with Meet Edgar is you're not going to schedule something like one time and then it posts and it's gone. So for example, with like, a normal social media scheduler, you would say, I want this post to post on Monday at 8 a.m. And then, or like, you know, Monday, February 7th, 8 a.m. or whatever that is. And then after that's done, the post is gone, right? Well, with Meet Editor, you're putting, you're taking your categories and you're saying, okay, so let's say you have a category called quotes. Um, so here, I'll show you in the categories here. So let's say you have a category called quotes. I have a lot of categories. So, okay, here it is. Uh, then you'd go onto your schedule and you could say, hey, I want you to pull a post at random from the category quotes at 7.55 a.m. on Mondays. And I want it to post to these accounts. And that's it. It will literally pull from that indefinitely until you change it. And you could put all your different categories into the schedule um, as well, which is really, really awesome. Okay, uh, next you have your queue. So this shows you what posts are coming up in what groups and platforms. And then you have your library, which is all of your content and you can search it by category. So let me just show you like quotes. Well, actually let me show you, um, let's see here. Educational story posts. So yeah, it'll show you every post that I have where it posts to, um, like what pages I allow it to post to or groups or social platforms, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, so this is sort of just like to show you around Meet Edgar, what the different things are. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever even been to this dashboard. So that's interesting. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, okay. So now that I've showed you around Edgar, uh, next I'm going to show you the steps it would take you to schedule your content. And then lastly, I'm going to show you where you can go to get help with Edgar or learn additional things that it does. So let's see when I logged in, I think it took me to, I don't know, library. So let's say you log in. Um, yours is probably going to be empty, right? Because you're just starting and there's no content in it. So this will all be empty. 
Um, but what you want to do is by now you should already have selected your five categories and you should have already created five posts for each category. So you should already have 25 posts typed up in a Google doc and have 25 images uh, to go along with each of those posts. Okay. So granted you have all that stuff, you would go to, uh, first I would have you actually go to categories and I would have you create the five categories that you want to use. Um, Edgar's going to come with some categories. I don't remember what they are. I think they're called general or whatever. I don't hear like general. Um, you should be able to delete every category except for general. So what you can do is you can actually either edit and delete the categories that it comes with because it just comes like with a few categories already made. Um, and you can also click add new category. Okay. So again, you're going to have five categories, right? And you can use the five that I told you, or you can make up your own five. That's fine. Some of them are like story posts, educational posts, quotes, questions, and I forget the fifth one. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, you would type in, you know, quotes would be your category, right? And then right here, it says included when selecting random content to post. If you want, like, this isn't like more of an advanced feature. We're not going to be talking about it at all. I always just leave it checked because like, let's say you're like, oh, on Fridays at noon, I want it to pull from any post I've ever created, you know? And then that way, if you have this checked, any post that you've ever created would include the category quotes. So I hope that makes sense. So yeah, you would, um, again, you would click add category, you would type in your, your category, and then you would click save. And like, I can show you here, uh, like I already have quotes. Oh, testimonials. Maybe that was another one. Oh, the selling post. That was the fifth one. So yeah, you can see anyways, that's how you go and you add your categories. So you would add your five categories. Okay. Then next, what you would want to do, um, is make sure that you have your accounts set up. So if you want to post in a Facebook group, then you would click add page slash group. It's, it's going, it's thinking. And it's going to show you like all your stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff, so just ignore that. But basically you're going to follow those steps to just add. So for me, I have my person. I don't know why none of these images load. Just ignore it. Um, but my personal profile is set up. And then I have all of my groups, pages, and Instagram. That's what I use Meet Edgar for. I don't personally use Twitter or LinkedIn. But again, it depends where your ideal client is, right? Like some of you guys, you know, if you're going to work with corporate businesses or people in corporate or helping people get jobs or helping them find a better job or any kind of thing to do with LinkedIn, like you might want to be on there, right? Um, so anyways, you'd want to go in and set up your accounts and just click whatever account you're going to add and follow the steps. Once you have your categories, once you have your accounts, then you can click on this magical button here called add new content. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the category you want to schedule for. So let's just click quotes. Okay. Then you would, uh, put in whatever text goes along with it. And then you would click to add your image. All right. And then you would select which, which pages or platforms you want to schedule that on. So for me, if I'm just going to focus on my Facebook group, which I would highly recommend, I've already highly recommended you just start with a group. Start with a group, start with a group, start with a group. It's just so much easier. All you need to do is grow your group to 200 people and then you can do your kickstart, right? So uh, let's see here. This is my free group. So I would click the category quotes. I would put the content in. I would upload the image. I would select that I want it to go to this group. And then I would hit save to library. And you're going to do that over and over for all five of your categories. And which would be, um, you're doing five posts for each five, each of the five categories was just 25 posts total. So you're going to go in and do that. Okay. Once you have the 25 posts and categories put in, um, then that's when you get to go to your schedule and you get to select and you get to say, um, here's the cool thing actually, before I say this, so when you log into your calendar, it's going to be blank, right? because I already have this all set up, right? But you will see these little pieces that say suggested time. Edgar actually tells you, like it already populates the times that are best for you to post into your certain social channels. 
So for your group, it might say, so, so like this says suggested time for Pinterest. And I've already used all my suggested times, which is why you're not able to see them. Um, but it suggests times for all the different social platforms. So you'd be able to just click on that suggested time and then select what category you want to go. So like maybe you're like, oh, that's a suggested time. I'll have it pull a quote at that time on Saturdays. And I want it to go into this group, whatever that is, right? So basically, <clears throat> I recommend that you just start out with one post per day because you've created 25 different posts. So that's enough posts to cover a whole month, okay? So I would just go into Edgar and just look at what are the suggested times. So if they suggest a time for Sunday, post on that time. If they don't, a good rule of th thumb for Sunday is afternoon, but think about your ideal clients and don't overthink this. Just pick a time. It really doesn't matter that much. Um, <clears throat> and then, so you would literally be like, okay, on Sunday, let's say Meet Edgar has this thing that says like suggested time for noon. You're like, okay, Sunday, click on this little spot here. The category I want is, I don't know, education story posts with self portraits. I want it to post into my group and I want it to be on Sundays. Save. Actually, I'll just save it and then I'll delete it. <laughs> so see, it just showed up there at noon. And then when you want to get rid of it, you just click delete, which is super easy. And yeah, so for me, you can see I have like multiple posts on every day. Just start it with one post per day. Um, so just, you know, if that's going to be Sunday at noon, then just do what I just did. Select your category, hit save, and boom. Now you can move on to Monday, okay? I have to delete that though, because mine's set up the way that I want it. Then you would go into Monday, see if there's any suggested times. Um, and then again, do the same thing. Like let's say it says, and if there's no suggested times, again, pick a time. Just ask yourself, what would be a good time to post, right? So maybe you do a post Sundays at noon, Mondays at 10, Tuesdays at 10, Wednesdays at 9 a.m., Thursdays at 8 p.m., Fridays at, I don't know, 2 p.m., Saturday at, I don't know, 10 a.m., and then you're done. Literally, then you're done. Um, so yeah, you basically just create the 25 posts, you set up your account, you put your five categories in, you add the new content, then you select where you want that content to go on your schedule and then you're done. And Meet Edgar will automatically post your posts for you indefinitely. So and until you come and delete it, right? Until you come and you say, I don't want quotes at 10 a.m. or whatever that is. Um, so you don't have to think about your content anymore. How exciting is this? And you know, you might have a zillion questions. First of all, keep it simple. Just do what I just said. Don't go, don't go trying to make tons of different posts on different days. Just start with one post per day. You, you do not need more than one post a day and 200 people in your group to kickstart. Okay. So don't overcomplicate it. Don't overwhelm yourself. Um, you know, sales are important. Sales are the lifeblood of your business. So don't, don't focus on these non money making activities and then wonder why you don't have sales. Um, so just, I just have to say that <laughs> don't spend too much time in here. I know it can be fun to play around with the different software. Just follow my steps. Um, and then just, just get it done and then move on, uh, to the next module so that you can kickstart your course. Now, let's say you've already kickstarted your course and you've made money, blah, 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 or you get stuck somewhere with Meet Edgar, whatever that is, just click on your name and click on, um, help center. And it'll say getting started with Meet Edgar, click on that. And then if you scroll down, I'm trying to remember where it was now. Oh, it's the first one. <laughs> getting started with Meet Edgar, the dashboard. So this is gonna show you literally everything you need to know about Meet Edgar. It's like how to connect your accounts, how to create categories, how to add new content, like every single thing. They have videos for all this stuff. So you don't need to ask me about it. Um, you know, I know how to use Meet Edgar for myself, but I'm not a Meet Edgar ex expert. I don't work for Meet Edgar. Meet Edgar is not my software. So don't come to me with software questions because it just doesn't make logical sense. I mean, Meet Edgar, they have, their whole company is built around helping you with their software. So 
Um, they also have live office hours. You can get help on Zoom. They also have Meet Edgar University where you can learn all about social media. Um, tons and tons of help here. Their customer service is also amazing. If you write into them, they'll get back to you and help you with anything you need help with. So, all right. And then, um, so that's it. That is how to use Meet Edgar. So I showed you around Meet Edgar. Um, I showed you the steps to schedule your content and get it automated. And then I showed you how to uh, get further help with Meet Edgar as well. So go now, create and schedule your content, uh, and then get ready to kickstart your course. Let's do this.